welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So you've got the first card about nudity and this is letting go of the old and embracing the brand new and starting brand, new, starting off, uh, you know, from the beginning, uh, you know, letting go of the layers of the past really, uh, you know, and seeing things from a very, very new perspective. Um, you know, not uh, following old traditional rules as well. And this is also about using your creativity to do things and embracing that creativity and applying it to whatever you're doing as well. So if you've got any brand new ideas, it's time to apply them. You've got the astonishment card over here. So there might be some kind of uh, surprise coming in for you. Um, this is also about... Um, you know, having, uh, being a bit inexperienced in what you're doing. So there might be a new situation that you're, f you're facing. This is about, you know, everybody's following the crowd, following the leader, and you're looking at it from a different perspective. So you're seeing it from a different point of view, uh, seeing things with different eyes, really. And maybe this is because you're using your creativity now to see things and you're not following the crowd. You want to do things. You want to go around, go on your journey follow that path and you don't want to you, you don't want to uh you know follow the queue or you don't want to do what everybody else is doing it seems like you want to make a change and you want to do something brand new you've got the dog card over here so you have people that are very faithful towards you and people that are very supportive of you so be aware of that there are people there to guide you and they are looking after your best interests so in the past, you've got the bird card over here. So this is about uh, reviewing your spiritual life or spirituality or looking at things. You can see they're looking at these birds, you know, from a different perspective, uh, seeing things not the way they were and, you know, going against traditional viewpoints. You've got the temple over here. So it seems like you've been spending a lot of time meditating as well and maybe spending a lot of time in solitude. So you're going through some kind of, uh, you know, self-awareness change or self-awareness revolution uh, within yourself. Um, you know, you're going deep within to find the answers to a lot of questions and you're, you're reviewing all the things that you believed in the past. You're questioning your spirituality right now. So going into the future, you've got the hand card of here. So whatever work you're doing, uh, it looks like you're, um, you know, you're going to be very, very hands on with it. Uh, you're going to be very, very involved and it's going to be very, very successful. It's going to allow you to move forward. There might be some travel as well involved, um, you know, where you have to go and get things done yourself, if you like. So, you know, something where you have to be very, very hands on in. You've got the fortune teller card over here. So this looks like, uh, you know, um, you have to rely on your intuition. There's some kind of... Um, you know, maybe there's a surprise coming in for you as well, something uh, unexpected uh, coming your way, uh, you know, reviewing the past to make changes to the future or changes in the present. Uh, and uh, this is maybe even consulting a psychic to get some kind of, um, uh, you know, input into whatever your situation is. I promise I'm not making that up. This is the fortune teller card. So it is about, you know, getting, getting, um, um, you know, in touch with your psychic side or even consulting somebody who is psychic, somebody who gives you some kind of intuitive thought or you having intuitive thoughts in order for you to get things going. And, you know, once you do that, you'll be able to move forward. Things are coming your way. It looks like, you know, you are going to be moving forward um, you know, quite rapidly as well. And that, that's why I say there might even be some travel coming in for you. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm going to draw some cards from the uh, Gay Tarot and I have put this deck in the description box and I have shuffled this deck. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Ten of Wands. So you've been dealing with a lot of responsibilities. You might be waiting for some kind of message to come in in order for you to move forward. And it's about, you know, your pathway opening up. Uh, so things, the road is opening up, but you're ending things. This is the Ten of Wands. So with the Ten, it's leaving behind those old burdens, old responsibilities, those old problems and moving forward. You've got somebody that's very, very faithful. Uh, you know, you could be traveling as well, you're traveling away from wherever you are at. The once cards is generally about travel. Maybe you may even planning on moving home 
or changing you know where you live uh, and leaving behind the old and moving forward for the new so whatever those responsibilities or those things that held you back you're uh, you know you're um, getting rid of them from your life and you're going to be moving forward your path looks like it's very very open your road is open and it looks like you know after you get some kind of communication you're going to make a decision and move forward or you're trying to make a decision to move forward or move away from wherever you were at. So you've been working very, very hard. You've been building something. You've been working with somebody. Uh, but a lot of hours, a lot of uh, responsibilities, a lot of time has gone into this particular project that you're doing. And you've been working late hours. And now you're waiting for that success. Now you've got the sun. And the sun is always a, a positive card. Uh, the sun rules Leo as well. So a lot of recognition will come in. So whatever structure you have placed, put in place, you know, in your work life, even in your love life, it looks like you know it's going to be successful you've got that four of wands it looks like you need a holiday now next to the, the sun card you definitely need a holiday uh, you need a little bit of a break in between projects so maybe you're you know uh, at a um, in between phase at the moment or it is time for you to take a break so that you can get a new perspective of things and put things into perspective and come up with a new strategy a new plan in order for you to move and get that success uh, you know your pathway is open open over there but you do you are tired you could be going through an illness as well and if you are uh, going through some kind of physical illness it looks like you there is recovery because you've got the Sun card next to it so all these problems will go away um, but you do need to take a little bit of a break because you are very very stressed out it looks like you were working very, very hard. You've got this garden at the sunset, so you've been working from dawn till dusk on this particular project, and it looks like there hasn't been any payoff. You can see most of the stuff is sitting in the bin there, so it looks like you've had to abandon things as well. Um, you know, as they say, you have to can it in order for you to move forward. So, you know, you are very disappointed. Uh, things did not work out the way you wanted it to. You've got the Three of Cups over here, so it looks like you have, uh, you know, you, you do have good friends and support around you. It looks like you may have started a new project as well and maybe there has been some success with that particular project that you have been doing you've got this little girl with a little balloon as well and eating ice cream so it looks like you know there has been some um you know um success that has come on and some some kind of celebration also this could have been you know getting together with friends family uh people that you love and enjoying their company and maybe that's what's happened you've had some kind of event that you've been to in the recent past now, you are feeling very, very trapped, isolated, alone. Uh, you know, you're in this, this man is sitting, uh, standing in this train. So you are moving forward, but you don't feel like you're connected with the people that you are working with or the people that you are communicating with. Actually, it feels as almost that there's a breakdown of communication between you and, and other people. It seems the focus is about money and growth. You can see this man's reading this newspaper. There is some kind of news that you are missing or you're waiting for to come in as well. But it doesn't seem like you are, uh, you know, that there are people around you uh, that are uh, supporting you. Or maybe people are not paying attention to you as well. So that could be the, uh, the case. You are feeling pretty lonely right now where you are, you know, in a crowd of people, but not really getting that communication going across and feeling very trapped in a sense. Um, so going into the future, you've got the man of co coins over here, and this is concentrating and focusing on your work. Whatever you're doing is very, very skilled work, uh, and it's, you know, it's got an element of danger as well involved in it, uh, but you're very, very focused on it, and you're, you're doing it very cautiously, and, uh, you know, you are, um, you are getting to the top as well. You are building something, it seems. You are laying down foundations and building something. Now, you are t uh, what's happening with you, you've got the chariot card. Now, this could be a move, a home move in itself or even buying a new car, as they say. But for the most part, it is you taking control of that situation, you know, reigning in all those people that are, uh, you know, disgruntled or those people that are going against the flow of what you want to do and, you know, moving down your path. Uh, this is about thinking logically, not losing your head in a situation. You know, when you're facing with problems, don't let the pressures get to you. Make sure that you're thinking very clearly uh, and take control of it. And that is how you will move forward. Uh, and this is a kind of success. So you are heading towards a goal and you will be successful at it. But it is going to take some hard work. The chariot card usually means success and, you know, after determination and hard work. And make sure that you're organized. This man's got all his papers flying all over the place. So watch out, uh, you know, keep a tab on all your uh, paperwork. Make sure that you have everything ordered in order and sorted out. Now you have got the Ace of Wands over here, so you're in the phase of manifestation here. So you are manifesting something new, something brand new in the form of maybe there's a relationship coming in for you over here. You've got a lot of hearts there. This could also be a new project, the new beginnings of something. 
And you know, since it's sitting next to this work cycle, it looks like there's a new project that you might be manifesting at this particular moment. And you want success. So you're beyond judgment. There's something that you haven't completed that you are about to complete right now. Uh, so this is success. You want success in that particular field and you want victory in it. And you're changing direction as well. You're changing your path, you're going down a new road, and you want success in it. So this is your hopes and fears. Now going into the future, you've got the Five of Cups, uh, the Guide of Wands, and the Man of Wands. So with the Five of Cups, it's about still thinking about the disappointments that you had in the past. This could have been an emotional disappointment, so you could have had some kind of relationship breakdown, but this could also have been projects or things that never got completed, and you're still crying about it. There was some kind of crisis that you went through, so you are feeling a little bit disappointed. It looks like there are offers coming in for you. There are options available to you but you need to stop focusing on that that you can't fix and start moving forward to that that you can use you've got the guide of wands over here so there might be some travel uh, involved and some news coming in uh, and this could be even changing uh, relocating to do the job that you're doing starting afresh somewhere new so there could be some trouble coming in. There are some kind of legal issues that you're dealing with as well, something official coming in as well. So this could also be some official news coming in, some legal news coming in for you uh, that you are waiting for that will allow you to get over this particular situation. So I'm just going to draw some cards uh, from the, sorry, the angel tarot for the uh, oracle read. So you've got the Empress card over here, which says, Lavish abundance, give birth to your dreams, and nurture yourself and others. So the Empress is a card ruled by Venus, and it's about bringing money in, it's bringing uh, abundance in, and it's bringing, uh, you know, where you can sit back and relax and enjoy the fruits of your labor. So that is coming in for you. That is a card of success. And, you know, being in charge of things and being uh, on top of things as well. You've got, got the King of Earth, which is the ultimate money card. A successful time, confidently accept opportunities you are offered, the Midas touch. So this is almost everything you touch is going to be turning to gold over here with the Midas touch. And this is, you know, being very professional, responsible, and being very successful at whatever projects you start. So whatever job you're doing, you're going to be earning quite a bit of money with it. You've got Knight of Air. This is another uh, card about news coming in, events that occur at great speed take time to carefully review your options and creative solutions now the knights of the air cards are usually about legal news uh, legal information that comes in you've got two of them over here so this is waiting for something legal to come in it could be even uh, signing new contracts new documents but it's some kind of legal paperwork or it's some kind of legal news it could even be a judgment that you are waiting for the decision to be made so that is coming in for you if you're looking at legal papers or legal issues, make sure that you're very, very meticulous and be very, very careful on how you review things uh, coming in. But it looks like, you know, the King of Earth, there might be a promotion with that. This might be the new um, contract that you sign because there's definitely money coming in. There's some kind of leadership position coming in as well. And this has got the Empress next to it. So there's going to bring in a lot of money in abundance as well. So there's something brand new you're going to be doing as far as the work front goes. You've got that man of... Uh, coins over there working very, very hard on something very, very intricate, something, uh, you know, uh, that he can only do because he's an expert at it. And it looks like it's going to bring in a lot of wealth and success as well, even with the chariot card. Uh, and it also means that you're going to probably be doing a lot of travel as well. You've got the chariot and that ten of wands. There's some travel in the air as well. So try not to feel so isolated. Uh, things are going to start moving for you and they will be very successful. So I hope that this reading has resonated. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.